Can zombies exist on a biological level? Did you know that by injecting spores into a dead insect's brain, the Ophiocordyceps fungus can transform it into a zombie? If we said we hadn't previously given this issue some serious thought, we wouldn't be alone. The majority of individuals are troubled with questions about the possibility of zombies after viewing a zombie film or television show. If you fall into this category, look no further because we've researched to clear the air for you. When did the concept of zombies initially capture people's imagination? To start, the idea of zombies hasn't always been so widespread. In actuality, they didn't become a standard horror cliché until the late 20th century. While the fear of the dead appears to have existed from the time of the ancient Greeks, at least. The concept of zombies was first introduced in Haiti in the 17th century. Voodoo practitioners in Haiti at the time concocted mixtures that virtually immobilized their victims and put them into a coma, giving the impression that they were dead even if they were not. Days later, there were stories of these zombies rising from their graves. It was terrifying enough to make anyone dread God at the time, but we now know that pufferfish toxins were to blame. There are zombies all around us. They're simply not human. The ironic thing about zombies in nature is that they aren't very scary. Instead, the organisms or entities that give rise to zombies are the stuff of nightmares. Consider the fungus Ophiocordyceps, which controls the minds and bodies of insects. The fungus takes full control of its victim within a few days of infection, forcing the lifeless shell to climb to a safe, elevated location where it may then bear fruit. To restart the process, it subsequently breaks through the insect's head and releases its spores. But there are other instances of zombies in the natural world. Some worms can infect and take over a host, and then there are the incredibly unsettling jewel wasps. Cockroaches that get neurotoxins from the jewel wasp are paralyzed for up to a week. The zombie cockroach and one of the wasp's eggs are then sealed away in a dim area. A substantial meal is ready for the little wasp when it hatches. Can people become zombies if there are zombies in nature? It depends on your definition of a zombie, but sort sorta. For instance, there are cases of Haitians who were poisoned with pufferfish toxins and rose from the dead, so to speak, acting very much like zombies. There have also been instances where people have had uncommon illnesses that have caused them to behave in a manner like a zombie. People with Cotard syndrome, for instance, may beg to be buried because they believe they smell like rotting flesh or that they are dead or otherwise decay. In other instances, patients made suicide attempts to stop others from becoming like them. Does this imply that zombies could exist biologically? If you're specifically interested in knowing whether zombies like the ones we see on television are real, the answer is no. Even though a zombie apocalypse could seem like a little dark, twisted fun, it's simply not biologically conceivable for a clinically dead person to return from the grave and begin mindlessly attacking people. Although CPR is used to reanimate people every day, they don't suddenly develop a hunger for human flesh. Even so, it's still up for debate whether zombies of any kind are even conceivable. The fungus-infected insects aren't even technically dead. Instead, they're only being kept in check so that the fungus may distribute its spores to an appropriate area. Even the zombification of cockroaches is just momentary. If a young wasp hasn't already drained out their insides, the roaches will return to normal after a week. Where does it leave us, then? Depending on how broadly you define zombies and how much you want them to exist, we contend, the answer will vary. You might easily claim that zombies exist, in some form or another, if you wish to live in a world where they are feasible. The same conclusion, though, has likely been reached by you if you have a more logical mindset. Zombies, as we typically characterize them, simply do not exist. But will there ever be zombies? That is a subject for a different day. Thanks for watching.